Trump and got promised economic growth much better than Obama's. That's not what happened throughout the 2016 campaign and since, the president and his party have vowed to kickstart tepid Obama-era economic growth. New government data show that Trump, too, has failed to reach the 3% promised land, according to one major metric. The Commerce Department's Bureau of Economic Analysis measured 2018 growth at 2.9%, matching the peak Obama enjoyed in 2015. For the rest of the president's term, economic forecasters agree that number will decline. President Donald Trump's central claim about his economic policies officially crashed into reality on Thursday. Throughout the 2016 campaign and since, the president and his party have vowed to kickstart tepid Obama-era economic growth. Specifically, they insisted tax cuts and deregulation would return growth to its post-World War II average of 3% a level. Candidate Trump said derisively that President Barack Obama became the first president in modern history never to reach in a single year. New government data on Thursday morning show that Trump, too, has failed to reach the 3% promised land, according to one major metric. The Commerce Department's Bureau of Economic Analysis measured 2018 growth at 2.9%, matching the peak Obama enjoyed in 2015. Instead of annual 2018 growth, the White House emphasized a different growth measure comparing growth from the fourth quarter of 2017 to the fourth quarter of 2018. By that measure, the economy grew 3.1%. But Obama, too, reached 3% growth on a four-quarter basis four different times. Where Obama failed to enjoy 3% annual growth was on the B's official annual number. His 2015 peak was 2.9%, like Trump's for 2018. Thursday's preliminary 2.9% figure could later be revised although economist Mark Zondi of Moody's Analytics said the most likely direction would be down. For the rest of the president's term, economic forecasters agree that number will decline. 2018 will be the high water mark for growth in the Trump administration, Zondi predicted. He expects the decade-old economic expansion will shrink to 1.1% growth in 2020, with a better-than-even chance of recession. For the 21st century economy, 2.9% represents strong performance in any event. Not since 2005, during George W. Bush's presidency, has America seen a full-year expansion of 3% or more. Moreover, 2018 marked the second consecutive year that growth accelerated by six-tenths of a percentage point from 1.6% in Obama's final year in office. GOP's hollow campaign pledge economically, that falls short of the upgrade team Trump pledged. Politically, it demonstrates the hollowness of a car GOP campaign theme. The theme hardly originated with Trump. Announcing his presidential candidacy in 2015, then frontrunner Jeb Bush blamed Democratic policies for the slowest economic recovery ever and identified the solution as tax cuts and deregulation. There's not a reason in the world why we cannot grow at a rate of 4% a year, Bush declared. Obama's economic advisors cited two big reasons, sluggish worker productivity and shrinking labor supply as baby boomers retire. Those factors, they argued, limited potential growth to a long-term average of 2%. Trump, with characteristic grandiosity, dismissed that argument and outbid Bush. We think it could be 5 or even 6 percent, he said. His economic advisors remained more cautious. But they cast sustained growth of 3 percent or more, driven by new, productivity-boosting business investment, as the floor beneath their strategy for making Americans better off and protecting the federal budget. The foundation for the plan is 3 percent growth, Budget Director McMulvaney told Congress. In fact, that is Trumponomics. Abracadabra, Obama growth ticked up in 2017 to 2.2 percent, though that rate fell below what the Congressional Budget Office had forecast before Trump's election. As the president took steps toward deregulation, Republican allies in Congress called tax cuts critical to achieving their 3 percent goal. 
the tax cuts passed in December 2017. And when growth surged to 4.2% in the second quarter of 2018, the White House declared victory. We are on track to reach the highest annualized growth in 13 years, the president assured reporters. Remember when Obama said you need a magic wand to make that happen? Donald Trump Jr. told Breitbart. Well, abracadabra, Obama. We're doing it. In fact, growth in a single quarter had topped 4.2% four different times during the Obama administration. A broad range of analysts had forecast that a deficit-financed tax cut would stimulate short-term boost beginning in 2018. Yet even as third-quarter growth slowed to 3.4%, White House advisors reiterated their confidence. In July, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin called the U.S. well on the path for four to five years of sustained 3% growth. In December, top White House economist Kevin Hassett sounded the same note while acknowledging a slowdown in business investment. We're definitely going to be at three or above three for both 2018 and 2019, he told CNBC. Thursday's B data show otherwise. Growth kept falling in the fourth quarter, to 2.6%. The increase in business investment has continued to taper. Having predicted growth of substantially over 3%, former National Economic Council Director Gary Cohn, has blamed Trump's trade tariffs for offsetting the boost from the tax cut. But the White House and its allies lacked credible evidence for their growth claim to begin with. The 3% long-term projection was always a stretch in light of the demographic headwinds, Harvard's Greg Mankiw, who chaired the Council of Economic Advisors for President Bush, told CNBC. That doesn't mean the White House agenda won't have long-term benefits. But Republican economist Doug Holtzikin, a former Bush advisor and co director, says determining its impact will take years. The real question is how much the trend has improved, are we decelerating to 2.5% instead of 2.0%? Asked Holtzikin. The test of the Trump administration policies will be their impact on productivity growth and the data are not yet in. Meantime, economists at Cabo and the Federal Reserve have cut their forecasts for 2019 growth to 2.3%. For the long term, both project growth below 2%. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.